So it's probably a surprise to be seeing my face again on YouTube because I haven't made a video in about six months probably and I'm really sorry but I just kind of needed to take a break to do a lot of stuff and I'm back now and I hope to continue making videos and I don't want to make this intro super long but I wanted to come back with a bang and that clap was probably really loud. I wanted to make a video about hairstyles for the spring and summer, so let's get right into it. I'm going to be showing you four different hairstyles today. Um, I'm going to be doing one with two braids kind of wrapped around the back of your head. One is going to be a Dutch braid hairstyle. The other is kind of a twist on your average ponytail. And the last one is going to be an accessorized top knot. So stay tuned and I hope you enjoy the video. For this hairstyle, you're going to need a brush, bobby pins, this is just two normal bobby pins. So for this, you, you can either do it with a middle part or a side part. I think I'm just going to part my hair in the middle to twist up a little bit. I mean, I used to have a video on middle parts, but I took it down because it was a little embarrassing. It was like the second one I made because I don't look that great with a middle part. But, here you guys are. So. You're going to start off by taking a section and you're just going to start braiding it. I mean, it's really basic, but this is going to be really cute for summer because you want to keep your hair out of your face, but you also don't want to put too much work into this, but it'll also turn out really cute. Sorry, I'm trying to make this neat and it's not working out great. So you're just going to braid it and you want to start braiding in the direction back because if you braid it right in front of your face, like right here, then it's going to look a little funky when you try and pull it back. So I didn't grab a huge section of hair, but I mean, enough so that you'll be able to see the braid. So, you don't have to go all the way down, just enough so that you can reach it to the back of your head. Alright, so once you're done with that, you can just take the bobby pin and pin it back there. Right, and we'll do the same thing over here. Now we'll pin this one in the back as well. You just want to do it so that they'll stay in place, but you can see how this finished look looks like. It's very simple, only takes less than five minutes, and you can see a kind of bohemian inspired look with it. You can like, kind of push it up here if you want, but maybe not. So that's just how this hairstyle will look, and now let's move on to the second one. This braid is a little bit different than your average French braid, but it's very elegant and very cute and all hair and it will keep the hair out of your face for summer. So you're going to start by brushing out all your hair. You can just put it in the back, and I'll show you in the front first, and then I'll move to the back of my head when I start braiding it. So we're going to pull some hair back like we're going to start a normal French braid. And instead of braiding over like you would normally do, putting the hair over, over, we're going to put it underneath. So, I'm going to take a section and put the hair under, which will make it pop out more. I'm going to pull that section under. And now we're going to start grabbing more hair. Actually, we'll do one more underneath. Okay. So now we're going to take a piece of hair from this side. And bring it, pull it under the other hairs, and grab a small section from this side, and bring it bring it underneath the others, grab from here, Put it underneath. Just keep adding hair every time. And then instead of braiding up, you braid under. If that makes sense. So I can turn around now in a minute for you. 
so that you'll be able to see clearly, more clearly. Continue braiding underneath until you come to the end of your hair. Now I'm going to turn around now and finish off the braiding. And then you can just secure it with an elastic. I just have colorful ones right now, so I'm going to put a yellow hair tie in there. explain but I'll show you from the back again. Um, so it looks really nice if you get the hang of it. I know it's kind of difficult but it's just a really cute like braid all the way down your hair. So that was my second braid. The other two hairstyles were based off what was kind of cute in my opinion and fun. But now I'm going to show you some hairstyles that are more trend oriented and the first that's been kind of trendy for this year's spring and summer is ponytails. So I'm going to show you a more volumized, voluminous ponytail. It's going to need a comb and a hair tie. I'm just going to use the same yellow one. So I'm going to grab some hair, like I would be putting it in a ponytail, and we're going to tease this hair. So you're going to take your comb and you're just going to do the backward, backward strokes on your hair, which is looks bad for it, and probably is bad for it, but it's going to create a lot of volume for this look, which is what we want. So, you can grab as many sections as you want to make it kind of as big as you want. Also, if you have a bump it, that would be cool, but we're going to tease. Back combing is what it's called. So we're going to back comb that hair, and then we're just going to put it up in a ponytail. The teasing is just going to make it appear fuller on top of your head. We're going to put the ponytail in the middle of our head. And secure it. And now I'll turn to the side for this, but we're just going to take a section from the top of our ponytail and use the same back combing teasing motion to give our ponytail more volume. You can take as many pieces as you want and do it as many times as you'd like. So this is the finished look, and I have a cute and flirty volumized ponytail. The last hairstyle is very simple and very cute, and I'm calling it my accessorized updo, or it's my version of an accessorized updo, which is just going to be a basic top knot with a cute little bow accent. So we're going to start off. How I put my hair in a bun on top of my head is I just flip it over, and then... Grab the hair, start twisting it, and then just form a bun on top of your head. And you can secure that with whatever elastic you'd like. You can make this as messy or as neat as you want. I guess this is just how mine's going to look today, and that was really simple. Just bun on top of your head. And then we're going to take this cute red headband, which I actually have from my friend, and we'll put this right here. So this is just really cute. A top knot is always cute, and if you want to rock this, props to you. I think it's just really sweet, and it's kind of fun and flirty for summer and spring. So that was my last hairdo. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and sticking with my channel if you have, and I hope to see you guys soon. I will see you guys soon this time. Bye, guys.